on, steady on. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, you two. Hi, it's great to see you again. <laughs> Congratulations on this. I'm so glad everyone's talking about it. I'm so glad it's getting the hype it deserves. <laughs> Women talking, it does what it says in the tin. There's so <laughs> much dialogue in this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I really comprehend what it would be like to do it, though. I think I spend most of my acting life trying to not say, like, Me get too. lines caught. Like, Me I'm too. like, I, I don't think I should say it. I, I can say it with a say look. That. And, then, <laughs> and then you're like a sea of dialogue and you're like, oh, God. Um, but also, it was really, like, when we were in it and it was it, just what was happening in the room and all these incredible people that were just standing in front of you giving you their hearts and, like, using this language to say something that has always been known but never been said was like it was amazing and there's some brilliant moments between your characters where they're sort of swiping at each other and i love it you just burst out laughing when you're watching it <laughs> was it hard to keep a straight face because you two are very fun and a bit <laughs> naughty i've heard as well no i took it very seriously <laughs> <laughs> but also i felt like whenever like jesse would do things where if she would like so we we've done it like a, a thousand times She'd then just completely change how she did it. And I'd be like, oh, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> and so literally, I feel like sometimes everyone would be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because I, I just, we just like go for each other. They loved it though. Yeah, I think they loved each other, you know, deep down. Yeah. And making films is obviously so glamorous. As we know, you had the glorious shared grey room. And mm. when they got you some Ikea the mattresses. Room. Yeah. The grey room, mm -hmm. yeah. How was that? Right. Um, it was... <laughs> It was bleak. <laughs> it was pretty bleak. <laughs> but we kept it going, didn't we? We really yeah. kept it buoyant. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rooney had her little, Rooney had her dog there and her Aww. and her baby there, which were like just kind of tonics. And mm. um, her little dog had come around, and, and at different points, he would you'd just find this tiny little dog in somebody's lap, or somebody'd be fast asleep, and he'd just be perching up on somebody's bum, like looking mm. us out. So kind of, it was good. It was a good. Breath of fresh air. It was. Bless him. I feel like you need dogs on every set or just in every workplace. They just, they're yeah. just the light of everyone's lives. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this dog, he's a very funny little he dog. He is though. very funny. <laughs> I do think he's like, he picks up on things though. He's like half human, half dog. Yeah. Like he would know that if someone was having a bad day and he'd Aww. just sort of shuffle over yeah. and he'd be, he'd be chosen. It was like, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, <laughs> let the healing begin. Mm. Well, listen, I heard in the other room that there was some flossing going on. Not the, not the teeth flossing, the flossing. And that threw me back. Because that's such a, like, that's a trend that feels like it was years and years ago. It was obviously. years ago, but it takes us this long to get around to it. That's the point. <laughs> well, I could, I've never mastered it. I can't believe still do the floss no. has been around for that long. I can't do it. It's been around for at least eight years. Wow. Is that how clinical the grey room was that you thought we need to do some flossing to just... It's the young it girls. Just, yeah. Young girls are teaching us. They could do it like that. And they were fast and agile. I was like kind of old 120-year-old woman <laughs> who had found her hips again or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and am I right in saying at one point, life sort of animated art because you were in this kind of studio and you're in the halo of quite a lot within the film. But then there was a point where you couldn't really leave, <laughs> so it felt like you were basically the, all the halo scenes we couldn't yeah. leave. Well, because it was COVID as well, and Canada was pretty strict. The only thing we were allowed to do was walk to and from Starbucks, which was across the road. <laughs> um, that was basically it, and because it was dark, like you go in in the morning and it'd be dark, and then you come out at night, mm. and the sun would be out, and be like, oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, it did become very like a weird, weird world that we were living in. But it was, you know, <laughs> delirious and slightly insane. But I wouldn't say it wasn't great because of it. A few bit of method acting in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've got to <laughs> of that. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> steady on, steady on. <laughs> now, listen. What I love about this film is it makes you cry, then it makes you laugh. But the thing I love the most most is at the end of it, the women all seem to be empowered in their own way. How do you guys empower yourselves? For me, it's listening to Miley Cyrus Flowers at the minute. <laughs> That's it. And I love right. the remix where it's Miley Cyrus Flowers and I Will Survive. <laughs> and wow. Oh, it's what incredible. What about you guys? What do you do to empower yourselves? I have discovered that decision making, <laughs> just yeah. make a choice, make a choice. And also just being brave and making a terrible choice. It's really good. And then the more choices you make, the further you get down the line, you go, well, I've made, I've gone, gone quite far. That's my... Yeah, yeah. saying no. Oh, yeah. Saying yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. I'm terrible at making decisions, so I get that. 
but to feel very <laughs> empowering when you can make a decision. Just any any decision is better than no decision. Exactly. I love hanging out with my girlfriends. Yeah. I like any time, I like, over the last few years, um, once a year, me and my kind of closest girlfriends, we go hiking for like oh. four days and we go anywhere and we just chat and I just love them. I love all the like women in my life. Anytime I get to kind of, and men, but I really love my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah there's definitely nothing more empowering, especially a hen party. Well, listen, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm out of time, but thank you so much. It's always so thank good to you. see you. <laughs>